Hi, I'm Chris Smith, and I'm going to teach you how to manual. So we're coming to it, pedals level, uh, rolling along, looking forward. Try and find a nice slope like this. It helps the bike sort of keep the uh, energy going as well if you do get it in the, in the right shape. So we come in, get the weight back. It's important to be really far back and make sure your bum is actually over behind the actual rear axle path. So the bike is sort of sitting more behind the bike. Make sure the seat is in front of you. You can actually see your seat when you're in the right position. Get your bike on the floor and just sit down. Don't cover the brakes, just fingers off the brakes and try and feel where that balance point is. Like mine's there. If I go a little bit more, you can feel it looping out a bit further backwards and it wants to drop. So just try and find that. And that is the point where you want to be just feathering the brake really, really lightly. Try and keep it smooth, not grabbing it, just feathering the brake, looking ahead and trying to keep that wheel uh, in the same place. So we're pulling back with our arms, extending our feet and kind of pushing the bike forward. If you get the bike like that, you can kind of feel where it naturally is on the balance point. So you're trying to keep it there by locking your arms, but pushing forward with your feet and actually really push your, drop your ankles and push your heel down. Almost so your, the flat of your foot is facing forward to actually push that bike along. Um, and the important thing is to, just to pull the brake if it's going too far backwards. So if you feel yourself going off the back, grab your brake and it'll stop you. Just when you're in the manual position, just make sure you're pulling up with both arms and pushing forward with both legs equal amount. As soon as you start dropping your elbows or letting one side of your body go looser than the other, you'll start turning. But as an advanced manoeuvre, if you want to give that one a go, try it. You're almost like leaning like you do when you turn it normally on your bike, but tilt your head, let one side of your body go loose and you can actually turn, even making a full 360 turn on your bike if you uh, get good enough at it.